Hi, this is Nag. Today we will see the Siemens S7200 PLC basic ladder programming. Now I'll show you a simple uh, program. So first of all we need to open the TI portal. So TI stands for Totally Integrated Automation. So first we need to create a new project. So click on the new project. So here it will ask you it will show you the project name so if you want to go with the default name you can or else you can change the project name so I will change the project name to uh, basic uh, uh, ladder so once you set the name so create click on create the project so here we call it as a first step so once you open the TI portal after creating a new project so here we need to go to the first step that is uh, we need to configure the device then we need to go with the PLC programming so I will go with the configure device so here it will show you uh, the devices so first we need to click on add new device so once you click on the add new device it will show you the options so so we need to go to the controllers so so select the cmatic s7200 select the cpu so here i'm using the cpu 2115c dc 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 and you have to select the part number so the part number which is uh, displayed uh, it will be uh, shown on the plc on the controller so you can check uh, and uh, you can confirm so once you select the part number then you can see the device and uh, its properties so once you confirm then click on add so here we go so this is a uh, uh, device view so you can see the device uh, virtually and uh, before uh, going with the programming so first we need to check its IP whether uh, the IP is correctly configured or not so for that uh, you can see on the top so here it's an accessible device so you can click on this accessible device the purpose of this is to check uh, what are all the devices connected in the net and you can also see its IP as well as the MAC address so that you can confirm what is a actual IP assigned so you can check the profi net so all the Siemens I mean the devices which I mean connected to the profit net and this is a LAN driver so click on start search so it is searching the devices which are connected to the net so right now in this net uh, I have connected a PLC and you can see its IP it's 192.168.01 uh, and the MAC address and also you can see the remote station that is IM1513 PN and its IP and also the HMI so you can see the IP address so later we will see the configuration of the remote station as well as HMI so first we need to configure the PLC so so here it is uh, 192.168.01 so just cancel so now check the same IP whether it is configured or not so click on the uh, ethernet address you can directly you can access uh, the ethernet address so here here you can see the address 192.168 the same which we saw in the accessible device so so now it is right so no need to change the address so just click on the save project so once it is done now you can start doing the programming so for that you need to expand uh, this project tree so under the PLC you have to go to the program block so click on the main OB so here we do the programming so double click so here is the main OB so here we need to uh, start doing the programming so now I'll show you how to create a simple ladder so here you can see uh, the instructions normally open normally closed uh, in the output coil so now just click on this instructions so automatically it will be placed on the rungs so I'll 
take another branch and again place some more so now I have dropped all the instructions now we need to give the proper address for these instructions so uh, this uh, Siemens uh, S7200 uh, the particularly 1215C CPU it comes with uh, 14 digital inputs and 10 digital outputs and uh, if you are not aware of uh, what is the address then uh, here there is an option that uh, you can click on this PLC on the bottom that you can open the device view so just click on the control and you can scroll on your mouse so that uh, you can see the image which is so here on this uh, CPU uh, you can see the inputs and outputs so as I said uh, it has 14 inputs and 10 digital outputs so you can see the first input it's i0.0 .0 and the end with 1.5 similarly the output address Q0.0 .0 to Q1.1 so <coughs> here we see the addressing so just undock from the main window so that this window will be separated and now you can assign this address so just select the input and drag and drop over your instruction so you can see automatically the address is been assigned similarly you can uh, assign the another one and the uh, outputs or else you can type manually like q0.1 uh, just it so here you can see some tags if you want you can change this tag names like uh, just right click rename the tag so you can give the name uh, like a start change so you can see the tag name was changed similarly you can have uh, another tag like stop so if you want to change the output tags you can now the programming uh, the placing of the instruction as well as the addressing is done now you can undock so it will get back to its original position and you can minimize so here we go so I have uh, two inputs and two outputs in my program now let's compile this program for any errors so here you go uh, compile click on the compile so I can see no errors so zero warnings then you need to click on the download so click on the download so again check the connection that is Profinet and the Ethernet drivers so click on start search this is basically in the network you will be having more than one PLC controllers so you need to select the appropriate controller and you can download your logic into that particular PLC so you can give your device name and you can identify your controller with the IP so once you confirm the controller then click on load now your project is being loaded so before that you need to stop all so that the PLC functioning will be stopped and click on load so again you can start so click on finish so now the logic is being dumped okay so if you want to see uh, its operation so on even on the screen then uh, you need to click on the monitor option so click on the monitor so here we go so now you can see uh, in the program uh, one is a normally open contact and, and the other one is a normally closed contact so you can see the output status in, in the PLC that is it is going high so if I give an input to the particular terminal so now you can see the output goes off and if I remove the input then it will be turned on 
Similarly, now you can check the normally open instruction. When I give the input, the output will also turn on. So you can see the status. So when I give the input, the output will be turned on. Okay. So here we have another option in the programming. That is, uh, if you if you change uh, any of the uh, program instruction or the address. So again, you no, no need to download the program or entire project into the PLC. Instead, uh, you can go with the simple software upgradation. Now I'll show you that. So just I'll do some more modification to the existing project. So add one more instruction that is 0 0.2 and click on enter and one output instruction so q0.2 so now I have changed the existing program so for that again instead of going for the download you can simply expand the project tree click on your main OB1 then you can see download to device and then select software changes only so with this option without downloading the entire project into the PLC you can simply you can upgrade the existing software so just click on load so now the software upgradation is over now if you want you can check so again uh, you can go to the monitor right the first two instructions already we have checked now you will see the new instruction so now I'm giving the input so here we go so the software changes has been upgraded into your PLC so this is how uh, we can uh, develop a basic programs and uh, we can also have uh, complex uh, functions in this PLC so that's the programming of uh, Siemens S7 PLC.